Hello, it is I, Steel Cat, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play Tiger Taz Minion Tiger 2. Bush! Rescue! I actually already started doing some stuff off camera. I was planning on doing it off camera, but then some of it kind of made sense to do on camera. And then I tried to start OBS while the game was running. And then it crashed, so that's just wonderful. I'm um, really hoping that's uh, exporting my audio properly because I did make some setting changes and I had to make some other setting changes to do some other stuff. Since we're here anyway, and this should be like the final, final, final episode, or it's going to be like the bonus episode number two or something, let's listen to the rest of Lenny's stories real quick and then we'll get started collecting the rest of these uh, picture frames. That's kind of what I've been trying to do here. And then after that, we will uh, check out some stuff in the menus and things. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Did you know that um, uh, 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 koala bears aren't actually bears at all? No way! You know what they are? Uh, that's right! They're a type of tree-dwelling monkey that lives on uh, uh, gum leaves and corn chips. Woohoo! Amazing stuff! And it's all true! Mm -hmm. You see, uh, uh, Hetty Gruesomebottom, an amateur monsterologist and an award-winning flower arranger, invented the first koala in 1937. Uh, she used to sell them from a corner store right here in Burramudgee. <laughs> and, and, and you know what else? Uh, I, I have no idea where I am right now. Uh, oh, is that the time already? I have to take medication. <laughs> I bet you do. Hello, Tony. Lenny, I bet you do. Did you know that um, the color yellow is in fact a shade of blue? <laughs> it's all true. My Uncle Benny, who works at Dusty Burroughs University in the color department, knows a guy who has a friend who knows these things. <laughs> well, apparently the person who originally classified yellow was colorblind. Can you believe it? He, he also reckons that the color red is heavier than the color yellow. And that the color orange isn't really a color, but is in fact a fruit. <laughs> I don't know, but just thinking about it makes my head hurt. <laughs> Jeez. You may be wondering how I know so much, right? Well, uh, the answer is simple, really. I'm actually a genius! Woo! <laughs> it's true! You know the letter I? Well, I invented that. Uh-huh. And the full stop. Oh, I've invented heaps of stuff. I am so prolific, it scares me. In fact, I even invented the word prolific. No word of a lie. It's all true. I have a photographic memory, too. It's incredible. Of course, sometimes I forget to load the film. <laughs> but that's another story. But, uh, you know what my favorite two inventions are? Okay, the holes in Swiss cheese, uh, the number 72, and, uh, rhubarb flavored ice cubes. Ha <laughs> ha! All my ideas, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Rhubarb flavored ice cubes. Well, Lenny, it's been good. Um, something's wrong with you, but it's been good. And I'm glad you're back, Lenny. I'm glad we saved you from Boss Cass and all that. Well, that stuff. Don't worry, Lenny, and uh, most of the major characters, most of the, the truly important characters, will return in Kai the Tasmanian Tiger 3, which I'm probably going to uh, let's play and publish in October because it's you know kind of a kind of a spooky themed ish uh, game, and that also gives me time to do some stuff on the main channel in between now and then. But anywho, I'm heading into the sewers, and I think I know exactly where I need to go. Excuse me. Um, how far in I need to go because yeah I did this like five minutes ago and, and stuff so um, I, I, I could be wrong so let me just double check ah this is it right here okay whoa, whoa, whoa. okay this is it right here I believe sure is okay and this time let's not crash the game which means I'm not gonna touch the boomerang <laughs> Apparently the boomerang has the potential to crash the game. Let's just not do that. Was it this one out here? I think it might have been this one out here. Uh, hopefully, no. Okay, where was the other one? Where was where was the, the other one that I also missed beforehand? I guess. 
Was it here? Yes, okay. Is that all of them? Let's check. Yes, there's all the picture frames in Buramudgee Towns. So let's head out to Outback Oasis. I will meet you there. Alright, so I've already searched pretty much every other nook and cranny of Outback Oasis. Of Outback Oasis, except for the very end part. But I'm thinking that we're gonna find some of those picture frames in invisible crates in here. And last time we were here, we were not nearly as equipped as we are now. So the big, the big bad, scary, uh, scary bad guys shouldn't be nearly as much of a problem as they were before. It looks like I can just uh, jump it down to here. And I'm gonna get uh, a good boomerang ready for dealing with these guys. <laughs> wrong. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, and then I fell to my <laughs> my tap. Oh, my. Uh, anywho, anywho, take care of these dudes. Where are they? Can't even see them. Okay, is there another one? No. Very good. Okay, let's get these. Please be picture frames. Okay, maybe I already got that one. Okay, here we go. There's a picture frame. There's a, pic there's a picture frame anyway, so let's go. Alrighty. Might as well get the opals. I mean, I'm not gonna do anything with them probably, but you know, opals are nice to have. Why are these guys still asleep? Oh no! That guy just got slapped to crap in his sleep. <laughs> he didn't even have a chance. Alrighty, let's see here. Very good. Couple of picture frames. Very nice. Okay. Okay, and then let's see where next, where next? Where's my where's the flower? Where's the flower? Bum, 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 bum. Where will this one take me? So I wanna jump over here. And I land on top of it. Like I try to Oh there we go, look at that. Anywho. Is this guy trying to attack me from down there? I think he is. He's trying to... He's actually trying to attack me. The camera won't show it very well, but he is actually trying to attack me. Interesting. Anywho. No, no. Don't let the opals despawn. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Okay, where are we at? Outback Oasis, we've got all the picture frames in Outback Oasis. Looks like we've got a bunch of them in the Nether Nether, the Wetlands, Fair Dinkum, Sulphur Rocks, all those places. Wait, 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 what? What was in, uh, anything else? Mount Boom. Frill Neck Forest, we missed two of them. Oh man, okay. Okay, well, I will meet you guys uh, someplace. I can even remember where Philnick Forest is. I'll probably have to look at that map again. Also, I have some taquitos in the oven, so or the toaster oven. So I better uh, better go attend to those real quick as well. So meet you guys in a in a minute here. Here we are again, back in the Never Never. How many picture frames do we have to get in the Never Never? Uh, we have about half of them. That's kind of unfortunate, actually, because that means that we have a... Kind of, yeah, yeah, that means they're not going to be all in one place. It's just kind of here and there. Sometimes I got them, sometimes I didn't. That sound effect was weird. But yeah, we're just going to go through the whole never, never again. I'm going to cut out most of it. Uh, might even cut out, like, some of the times when I get picture frames. I don't know, because it's not... I don't know. Maybe it'll be like a picture frame montage looking thing. Yeah, can I make it through? Yes, barely. Cool. All right, let's let's do this. And this time, let's not crash the game by using the doomerang. I have a vague, 
I, I, I could, I, I very well could be wrong, but some, some part of me thinks that I remember the game crashing for the very same reason, in like the original. Very same reason. Same level, same kind of scenario. I don't know. It just feels familiar. But, uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. Okay, there's another one around here somewhere. Oh man, they're hiding them dirty in this level. Oh, look at that crap. See, see, what sucks about the the X-Ring and Infra-Ring in this version is that they really don't, they really don't help. Quite frankly. Like, those invisible boxes are just about as visible you know, half the time they're they're sometimes they're even more visible <laughs> without the boomerang. It's kind of stupid. Um, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta take care of this a little faster. All right, there we go. Anywho, enough of that rant. I'm gonna go look for more invisible boxes for a while. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna suck. Anywho, <laughs> see ya. Oh, here we go. Sort of. That was a small handful. What are we up to? 23 out of 30. Okay. Okay. So sometimes they'll put multiple in one box, which is nice. That That is encouraging. <laughs> that is something they will do. Let's see what else do we got. No, oh, what do you know? There's a little nook, little nook over here. For whatever reason, over by the, uh, the the rock things. There's a little nook that I forgot to check. Anywho, goodness, I'm stuttering, oh, stuttering over myself right now. Blah, 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 blah. Now we gotta deal with these guys again. Jeez, I don't want to deal with these guys again. These guys are annoying. Oh, what do you know? Okay, random picture frame hidden in there. That's just great. Okay. Let's see what else do we got? I already got that one. Let me just check this real quick and deal with these guys real quick. Yeah, we already got that. Okay. That was uh, some other collectible. What about these boxes? Ooh, invisible crate. Where? There it is. Two of them. Oh, come on. There we go, there's... I'm getting a little closer now, okay. okay. No picture frames in those ones. Be amazed if none of those guys were sus. Amazed. What was this for? I don't know. Anywho. Oh, we got them all. Okay, well, there you have it. Sweet. Okay, so... I think it's gonna be faster to just exit level at this point. Shoot. What the? What are the physics on this Forby thing? Man, holy cow. That's just weird. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the physics on this Forby are freaking broken. That That's just proof right there. Proof positive. There is no... There is no explanation or justification for this, but uh, I believe the... Yeah, we want to be over here. Frillneck Forest is a handful picture frames in here, and I don't even think there's any invisible boxes in this uh, level, so I don't know. We'll see what happens here. So first of all, yeah. Oh, I missed one on the... I missed two on the trunk? Seriously? I guess I must not have been very thorough. And how many am I missing? Uh, oh, exactly two, so it's just these ones on the trunk. Well, then I'm just going to be thorough this time and get them all. And uh, that will be 
That'll be all the picture frames, that's it. Simple as that. Sweet as, as, uh, as Ty might say. Oh, there it is. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> All right, we are missing five. Five picture frames in Fair Dinkum. They could be anywhere. Oh, I already see some invisible crates that I haven't seen before. Because I haven't been here with this boomerang. And look, look, they're easier to see without the second. Anywho, whatever. Whatever. Okay, come on, can you get up here? Oh, come on, can you get up here? Oh, come on, can you get up on these one of these houses? Please! Please, pretty please. Okay. Hmm. No, no, don't make my life difficult now. There we go. Okay, what else do we got? Oop, there's one right over there. Very nicely hidden. Let's land back behind this house, perhaps. We'll take a look. Nope. Okay. Behind any other houses. So what about these? Can I reach those? Probably not. No. In fact, I think I hit something. Like a barrier. Anywho. Alright, now hopefully these are actually, you know, some of these are actually picture frames. Yes, here we go. Okay, that's, uh, that should be three, I think. I think I might have gotten one of these before. Come on, there we go. And the next one is over here somewhere. Somewhere, so there it is. Okay, hold on. Hold on, did you get them all? 14 out of 14 in fair income. Very good, let's head out of here. Perfect, 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 perfect. We are missing four in the wetlands. Four in the wetlands, okay. Speaking of which... One right at the entrance, it sounds like. Oh, it must be around the corner. Okay. I know I got some of these already. Oh, come on. There we go. There's one out of four. I also got a guy here. There it is. Two. Another one? No. Yeah. Hmm. That should be three. Yeah, I think. That's a counter wrong. There's one. Although I probably already blew that one up before. Yeah, definitely. Anyway. Whoa, what the heck? There we go. There it is. All of them. Why was this guy trying to talk to me? Oh, he's not even here. Oh, what? The dude's not even here? Did he leave? I don't know. Anywho. I mean, that should be all of them. In... Fair Dinkum and the Wetlands, we just have ten in Sulphur Rocks. And that should be... That should be everything. Right? Yeah, we're just missing ten picture frames. For 100%. And then hopefully we can, we can like watch the, the after credits thing that happens if you do 100%. Um, I don't know if I have to like beat the game again to do that. If I do, I'll just do it off camera <laughs> and then show you guys the end of the credits. Very nice. That's some Tokyo Drift going on. Very nice. Oh, come on. There we go. And this one. Ah, there's a couple. Sweet. 
Now there's a couple up here where the 3,000 opal bag was, or still is. Very nice. Okay, that gives us six. Very nice. Couple more. Oh, oh, another box. Oh, for real? Hold on. Hold on, guys. <gasps> We're at 100%. Okay, okay. First thing we're gonna do is save the game. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the main menu. Okay. Extras. Credits, movie player. Okay, there's a recap video that I used to play at the beginning of the game. I guess we could watch that real quick. This is like the recap of the first game. Let's do it. Long ago, a great battle was fought. Quaskas sought out five mystic talismans so he could banish every warm-blooded creature to the dream. But one brave soul stood up to Cass and thwarted his quest for the talismans. He risked all in an effort to save his family and friends. And in the end, he succeeded. Cass was banished for his crimes, and the land was made safe once again. All thanks to one lone hero, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. And then there's the 2003 Attract video, which uh, kind of shows some of the early concept, which was involving time travel. Whoa, it's cool. <laughs> early cart race. Oh, that's clearly the Never Never. There's, there's Patchy. Real Night Forest. <laughs> that guy was in the game. What's Clarence doing? There's fair income. Some place that's not in the game. Uh, never, never. Whoa. No idea. Like a city. That's not in the game. Never, never. Uh, oh, that's in the third game. <laughs> Kinda. There's no surfing in this game. Seems kind of seems like it would be cool if there was. Also, there's no loops in those things. <laughs> yeah, some of these look like vaguely familiar levels, and some of them definitely don't. Familiar characters. Oh, that guy wasn't. That guy was just an extra. Nice, just tie wish rescue. Yeah, and then what's this one? What's this one got for us? And this looks like more like the actual experience of the actual game. There you go, okay. Yeah, I'm not even gonna watch that. You can find it on YouTube if you want to. <laughs> not that interesting. But it looks like Ooh, concept art. I mean, this is what we've been doing, collecting all these all these picture frames. We can look at some concept art. Uh Tai 1 and Tai 2 concept art. Saja in Tai 1 and Chaza in Tai 2. Julius, uh, the Rex, Carlos, enemies. No, oh, there he is with his uh, with his uh, life jacket on, which they didn't even put in the original game, but uh, they put in this port. So you go to the, you go to the beach. He will be out there on his uh, little speedboat. There's a uh, that's supposed to be. I'm forgetting characters' names all of a sudden. That's Ty's brother, Sly. There we go. There's Sai. There's... Oh yeah, there's Sneath and Keith. More enemies. Those two people from Sulphur Rocks. The, the strange, like, tiger tribe weirdos or something. I guess she is supposed to be Princess Orchid. Who was alluded to in the first game but never really existed, I guess? I don't know. It was a Lenny thing. Lenny the Lyrebird. Those two, who were just kind of... I don't know, for some reason the role feels way bigger in the first game, I don't know why, they're just kind of there in this one. Good old Gooboo Steve. Notice he had a bit more of a, like an ancient look on the left, 
Again, the time travel concept they were going for. Same with the dinos. That's why there's so many dinos in this game. Because the early concept was time travel. Ty's parents, the aliens. The one in the middle looks a bit different. Oh, there's a stone beetle. There's some random koala. I forget who. Bunyan some stuff. Oh, there's a... Uh, there's, uh, yeah, what's his name? Buster. More bunyips. <laughs> Bob. Trader Bob. The director. Spurl and Squeaver. So you got anything interesting? Oh, there's the whale. <laughs> that lady. Anywho. Uh, do, 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 do. Wait. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, wait, wait. Why is there a jar of tadpoles? Why is there a jar of babies? <laughs> I'm not gonna ask. Who are these guys? I don't, oh, that's the hiker and the... I don't even know who those are. Oh, one of them... The guy on the right is the uh, truck driver. Don't know who the guy on the left is. Lenny and one of those ladies around town. Oh, there's the ghosts. <laughs> Duke, except they made his uh, eyeglasses red instead of blue. A couple more people around town. The bullfrogs. Madame Mopoke. A uh, couple more people around town, including, and those would be. I'm not even sure who those. Are. Oh no, those are uh, those are uh, what's her name and what's the name from Fair Dinkum. Uh, was that even was that enemy even in the game? I think so, but I'm not sure. Something similar to that was in the game. Those look a little bit different in the game than they, than they do in this uh, concept art. Yeah, some stuff on the final boss. Oh yeah, the, the motorcycles that the frills ride around. The, the cars and stuff. Boomerangs. Oh, and oh, oh, this is interesting because we get some uh, early concepts for like levels and stuff. Like what, what it could look like, you know, spark the imagination. I didn't see anything. That looks like it should be like an early concept for the uh, very end. And then there's a later concept for it. That looks more like a, what it is in the actual end product, final product. That looks like the bridge at Buramaji Town. Oh, and there's there's the uh, an earlier version of the map of the world. It's a little bit different, but it's pretty similar in the final product. <laughs> jet boat. There's a jet boat over there. Look at that. Sly Shack. Got some race tracks. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Or that. Or that. I mean, I guess various sequences in the game. Some stuff around Buramudgee Bus Rescue. And Buramudgee Town. I think that's supposed to be Gruesome Bottom Manor. A gear shop? What's that? Hmm. Nice. Uh, some doors. Oh, some of the big giant statue things around Southern Rivers. Not sure what all that's... Oh, that's supposed to be... Uh... Oh, from the opening sequence stuff. There's those boats that I wanted to go boating in. Huh. What, what, why does it show a giant tractor and then tie next to it for size, for scale? Like, none of this... Oh, some of it has tie for scale, but... What is this one? Also, why is it so big? Why is tie so small compared to it? Like, that doesn't even see... <laughs> whatever. Whoa, what is this? I don't know, but it isn't in the game as far as I know. <laughs> Goodness. That's a nice looking tree. Huh. That's nice looking stuff too. I didn't see that anywhere in the game. Oh, there's one of those things that they put um, around Sly Shack on the left in the port. It wasn't in the original, but they put it in the port. Not sure. Oh, that's supposed to be Sly Shack. Okay. Yeah. More farm equipment. Uh, what is this supposed to be? Is this like... Is this, like, Breath of the Wild stuff going on here? I don't know. Let's see. That's from that submarine mission. Uh, this is... 
some various later levels. Looks like a rain shop background. Some other shop. Oh, looks like Shocker's Cart Care. So is there supposed to be like customizable race cards or something? Interesting. There's the prison, and there's all the characters. It's like everybody pretty much, including some stuff that I don't think got into the game. Like in the bottom row, big green dude in the background. I never saw that. Oh, yeah, interesting. Hmm. Little character shot there. <laughs> Tyler has many tiger. Super happy yellow fun dog. I've never understood what this. I've seen this before, but I've never understood what it all means. Like why a super happy yellow fun dog? Like a like a bad translation that happened? <laughs> I don't know. Promotional art. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Okay. This is our first view of them. Whoa. Anywho, um, somebody else. Somebody else. Actually, those two are in the third game, I believe. And is that supposed to be... Fluffy's look in the third game? I don't know, but there's a little bit of third game concept art right here. These last five. Yeah, this is all third game concept art. So, And that is Ty's look in the third game, pretty much. Anywho, I am going to go load up the game, beat the final boss again, because, uh, you know, that's that, that's what you gotta do if you're gonna watch the, the thing. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. I shall return. my friend. What's wrong? I cannot explain. You must see for yourself. Come with me. Where are we going? We are going to the dream time. And there you have it. That is the the uh, the big teaser for the third game, the third Tyler Tasmanian Tiger game, which I will be let's playing. Uh, hopefully by October, I can I can have it up publish throughout the month of October. That would be nice. Well, until then, in the meantime, I'll be working on some main channel stuff for the most part, some Minecraft stuff on the main channel. But until then, if if uh, this is what you're watching. Uh, I will see you in October. Thank you for watching this Let's Play of Tiger Tasmanian Tiger 2 Bush Rescue. And uh, have a good one.